Hey, Collective. Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. Shout out to everyone that has booked a personal reading, everyone that has donated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate the love. I do plan on going live, so I've never been live. Um, March, I believe, or May will be my one-year anniversary on YouTube, guys, so... I'm going to go start going live this year, okay? So, um, just make sure you have hit that notification bell so you can stay, um, get alerts, okay, for when I go live. So, let's see. What is this message for the collective? What is this message for the collective? We have not for you. Wow, with all that glitters, baby. Listen, Holy Spirit is being clear. And you see we have the number six and we have the number 16 here. So something significant about the number six, okay? But I'm hearing, you know, all that glitters. You know the saying, guys. You know, it's not always what it seems to be. It's not always greener on the other side. I feel like um, for somebody collective, this could be a person, this could be a place, this could be a thing, okay? But look at the uh, fortune cookie. It says, nope, N-O-P-E. Again, something is not for you, okay? Something was not all what it made out, was not all, was not all what it made, was made out to be here. Again, the grass is, is, is not greener on the other side. Something was not for you. And this is too many. I'm not going to take them. Wow. Actually, I have to keep these, guys. Serendipity with, with new life here, okay? I feel like somebody is holding on to something from the past. It's something you don't want to let go or it's something you're having a hard time to let go. But again, I've been saying this 2023, God is doing a new thing, okay? And we have serendipity here. Wow, this is beautiful energy. We have a new life, a new life with loyal heart here. Again, God judges us by our hearts collective. I feel like you are definitely somebody with a very, very loyal heart. And God know this, okay? You've proven to God that you're loyal. God is trying to do something new for you. Give you some new things here. When I see this new life, this lets me know that this is not just God gifting you something, okay? Every aspect of your life is about to change, is about to be uh, balanced out. This is like the good luck card. Like there's luck is on your side at this time collective. Wow. I feel like something could have happened. Yeah, we got fork in a row. I feel like something could have happened within a relationship possibly, within a business uh, connection. Something happened, okay? Because this was not for you. God is giving you something else. And what I'm picking up with serendipity, this is not even good luck, baby. This is God's favor. It's like you had a, the favor of God over your life. You have the favor of God over your life. Listen, I'm going to take this. This Actually, I'm going to, I'll keep both of them. What did I say? Wow, with exchanging gifts, guys. You have the favor of God over your life. We have higher power here. This is source. This is God. This is the Holy Spirit. Bringing you some sort of help here. We have a leg up. You getting some sort of relief here. Wow. This is dope energy with exchanging gifts at the bottom of the deck, God is doing a new thing for somebody. Wow, this is beautiful energy. 
this is beautiful energy god is literally doing a, a new thing for somebody here again uh you have the favor of god over your life whoever this message is for it's something that god i feel like god stripped from you because it wasn't for you god is is you're walking into a new season okay you are walking in your divine purpose this calls for god to uh essentially uh create this um new life for you in a sense again now you're receiving all this favor from god from the holy spirit Wow, you're literally in divine alignment here. Let's pull from another deck. Um, hmm. Hold on, guys. <laughs> it looks like I'm missing it, but where is it? Did I have it in the wrong box? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Here it is. Okay. All right, let's see. We going to clarify, baby. And I'm at, who is it? Me. I'm in the middle of something. I'll be out in a minute. I'm finished. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I have to pick up where I left off. Um, I'm gonna have to edit the video, but let's clarify, okay? Let's clarify not for you. Why is not for you here? Actually, hold on guys. I'm so sorry. I got... I just got kind of distracted here. Uh, for a minute, but let's just pick up. All right, let's see. Not for you. Why is not for you here? Why is not for you here? What is, wow, wow, God is doing a new thing. Listen, guys, for somebody, this was a romantic connection. We got the Ace of Cups here. God is, wow, wow. Again, you've come into uh, this, this divine alignment collective. We got the Hermit card here. We have the hermit card, okay? So this is giving me in um in like the regular tarot deck, which this is a tarot deck, but this is the um modern witch tarot. In a regular tarot deck, okay, the hermit, there's a lantern, okay, which also represents enlightenment, okay? I feel like again there was a romantic connection that was not for you. There is a new love. God is doing a new thing, okay? Again, I feel like either you or your divine counterpart collective have been enlightened here with the hermit card and the ace of cups. Wow. There was definitely a past uh, romantic connection that was not for you. I feel like, um, again, I don't care how long you've been with this person. Something could have happened. There was a fork in the road. There was a tower moment. I'm picking up three of swords energy. Maybe uh, this person hurt you or something hurt you, okay? And again, this they just was not for you. It is what it is. For some of us, we've had children with these people. For some of us, we've been married to these people, okay? For some of us, we've been with these people for 10 years, okay? But you have been awakened, okay? You have been enlightened, okay? On, up, about who you are, your mission here on earth. You are in divine alignment here. The Ace of Cups, baby. God got something new for you. This is wild. The lovers with the Two of Cups, guys. 
there is definitely a new love for somebody this is your soulmate this is your divine counterpart your twin flame whatever you want to call it i really don't get into all of those i just stick with divine counterpart okay this is somebody that god has orchestrated you to be with period why is new life here wow guys listen we just saw the star card we got the star card with the justice at the bottom of the deck guys to clarify new life listen this is some sort of wish come true it's like a wish come true literally here wow somebody is about to be um i'm picking up ten of cups energy you are about to be emotionally fulfilled i feel like you could be emotionally overwhelmed uh with the joy and happiness when this comes in for you i also feel like some of you you have healed with the star card now you are ready uh for this new life you're ready for the next phase for whatever this is that god have for you why is serendipity here or as I picked up God's favor, okay? We got the fool card. Yes, I'm loving this energy. Three major arcanas, guys. Pay attention. There is something major that is happening here. There is a major shift that uh, is taking place in your life. God is orchestrating something here. You need to just take the leap of faith. Again, begin your journey because you have the favor of God. You have the favor of God, okay? God's favor can open doors that no man can, okay? Why is higher power here? We got the five of cups and the seven of wands here okay five of cups energy i feel like again collective maybe again something wasn't for you so at some point you felt like you took a loss you felt like you took a loss you felt like you had to fight here i feel like like but you came out on top yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Again, what did I say? It's like the grass not greener on the other side. Okay, something wasn't for you. Something wasn't all made up to be what it was. It could have left you feeling sad to have to disconnect or release or let go of those etheric cords, of those energetic connections. But it's like God was protecting you here in this Seven of Wands energy. You were protected the whole time. Even though you possibly got hurt, you came out on top because we got the star card. We know God healed you from that hurt, from that pain, from the disappointment. God had you covered the entire time. Why is a leg up here? Again, this is about help, receiving some sort of help here. For some of you, this could be your help mate, okay? which is your divine counterpart we got the seven of swords knight of swords king of pentacles here let me clarify the seven of swords because this could be a couple different things let's clarify from a different deck okay And we'll, I'll actually wait to clarify that. We are going to um, 
Now, nah, I'll clarify it now instead of going down the line. Why is Seven of Swords here? We got the Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands with the Ten of Cups, guys. Wow. What did I say? Yeah, you're receiving some sort of help. Again, what did I say? It's like... I said it like you had, maybe you felt like you had to fight off a lot or it was competition or just a lot of, you were surrounded, you're surrounded with some sort of confusion right now. Maybe um, the past person cheated on you, okay? Again, but it's like with the nine of cups here, again, this is another wish fulfillment card. This is another wish fulfillment card. I feel like with this leg up again, you're receiving some sort of help. I feel like maybe somebody is being, um, you think somebody is being sneaky here with the seven of swords with the five of wands It's definitely giving me like a sneaky energy, but I feel like somebody could be, they could be in your energy being strategic about the way they go about helping you. Okay. Because this is divine help. You're receiving some sort of uh, assistance here. Watch the seven of wands here with the uh, four of cups or the five of cups. Page of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah, it's like you have, I feel like you have your guard up because you've been, you been hurt in the past. Seven of Wands here, this is death with the Five of Cups, definitely giving me again, it's like you have your guard up. But I feel like it's something you don't see. You're about to receive some sort of communication uh, that you're not expecting here. Yeah, with the Hierophant, it's going to change something. We got um, the Hierophant and we got higher power here. God is doing something. There is some sort of divine communication you're going to receive. Some sort of news. And when I say divine, it doesn't have to be like an intuitive message. This could be uh, in the physical realm, okay? Why is the fool card here? For those of you that this is resonating with, like within a relationship here, you have like you have no idea of the new thing that God is doing or about to do here. Some of you could be having like some sort of mind battles, okay? God is showing you, but you still don't believe. Why is the fool here? Did one flip? The page of swords. Listen, a page of swords, page of wands, a lot of communication here. What did I say? The serendipity is giving me um, not just good luck, but this is the favor of God over your life. There's a lot of communication here that I see. Um, uh, or I'll just say good news. You should be expecting some sort of good news here, collective. Why is the star card here? <clears throat> the six of cups. Yeah, you've healed from this past person. You've healed from this past person with the six of cups here. Now you're ready to begin this new journey. Now God can grant you this new life. Now God can give you these blessings. Again, because whoever this ex was, they were not for you. This past energy was not for you. This was not your divine counterpart. This was not who God orchestrated you to be with. And it be like that sometimes. And that's okay. Because again, it's never too late. God is doing something new. Yeah, with the two of cups, baby, you've met your divine counterpart or you, you are about to meet your divine counterpart. You're going to have favor with this person. You're going to have favor with this person. What did I say? And you're going to get some sort of clarity. 
This person is want to communicate some sort of truth to you. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Wow, a lot um came out. The Seven of Cups was the first card that came out. I'm going to put it back in, but I feel like with the Seven of Cups here, you could be a little unsure of this person. Like, I feel like I said it earlier. I feel like you met this person already, right? But you might be unsure of their intentions. Like, you, you don't have a clear discernment of their intentions of, is this your divine counterpart or something like that yet? I feel like things are still being revealed to you. I also feel like this past person had options with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This past person had options. Yeah, Knight of Wands. What did I say? This past person had options here. But God has given you the strength, okay? God has given you the strength to persevere, to push forward. Yeah, because you have this new beginnings here with the Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, baby, a new life. I also feel like with this Knight of Wands, this new person is going to be very, very uh, sexually attracted to you, okay? They're going to be very, very sexually attracted to you. I don't care um, your shape, your size, your ethnicity, okay, your background. I don't care about none of that, okay? When you meet your divine counterpart, I did a reading on this yesterday. Um, there is no competition. There is no competition. Nobody can't will be able to compete. They will have no desire for anyone else except you. And I feel like this is what's happening. Uh, for somebody, your divine counterpart is being revealed to you here. I feel like, again, you had to let go of a past lover, of a past love, or a past relationship. You had to let go of to get what God is giving you. This is uh, a divine couple. This is a, um, yeah, ten of pentacles. This is somebody you will build generational wealth with. Somebody you will create a legacy with. Somebody you will build an empire with. Again, um, and this is nothing religious. This is nothing religious. This is like based on relationship. You are in divine alignment. I feel like you've come into divine alignment here. This is your year. This is your season that you will meet your divine counterpart here. Again, you had to let go of a past relationship I feel like the past person was a cheater. They was a cheater. Maybe that wasn't the uh, the only thing, but that's one of the clear signs that has come out in this reading, okay? And I also feel like, again, with this right here, a, a leg up, this is God sending you some help, right? Again, I feel like this past person was sneaky, could have been manipulative, um, yeah, with the five of ones, definitely competition, dealing with other people. And you're not going to have to worry about that with this new person, okay? Because this is your helpmate. They're coming to help you. They're coming to assist you. Um, if you are a divine feminine energy, this masculine energy will be a man after God's own heart, okay? They will have a desire to be married, okay? You will not date this person long. Y'all will not be boyfriend and girlfriend long, okay? They will, um, you know, again, have a desire to be married. They will see you as a wife uh, from, from the beginning, okay? And for the masculine energies, uh, this divine feminine energy, again, you will see this woman as a wife material, okay? You will see this woman as a wife material, somebody you want to start a family with or somebody you know where you just can see yourself, um, you know, marrying, being with long term, somebody that is equally yoked to you. So this is beautiful energy, guys. For some of you, this is about to happen quick with this Eight of Wands energy. Yeah, it's going to happen quick. All divine relationships happen quick. They are not drawn out for long um, periods of time, years and all of that. No, 
No, it's not going to happen. Like within the first year, something is going to transpire between you and your divine counterpart. For some of you within the first six months, three to six months, you're going to be engaged and married. For others, it'll take six to 12 months. But if it's past that year mark, this is it's not your divine counterpart. It is not going to take them that long to discern and figure out who you are, okay? So I hope this message resonated, guys. If it did, please leave a thumbs up, okay? And remember, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. God is doing something new, okay? God is doing a new thing, okay? You know, I experienced this. I had to let go um, of a marriage, of a relationship that I had been in for years and years and years, you know, but God had to wake me up. I had to become awakened to who I am. I had to uh, begin to walk in my purpose and uh, my destiny began to unfold, okay? God began to reveal my divine counterpart, things like that. So it is a process. It, it does not happen um, overnight. And remember, guys, what did I say from the, the beginning? The grass is not greener on the other side. It is. It, it just is not, okay? So I hope this message resonated, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to book a personal reading, um, the information is in the description below. Thank you.